Welcome to this CME activity. My name is Dr. Madeline Feldman. I'm joined today by my colleagues, Dr. Len Calabrese. Hi, Len. Hey, Madeline. Really uh, pleased to be here. <laughs> Happy to have you. And Professor Ian McGinnis. Hello, Ian. Yeah, warm greetings from Scotland, <laughs> too. Nice to speak to you. Okay, everyone, let's begin with what we currently know regarding the efficacy of available and emerging JAK inhibitors from investigational studies. I think all rheumatologists throughout the world are, are quite impressed uh, at the uh, effect size of these drugs. And uh, I, I'll add the speed of onset of action, which is uh, pretty dramatic and has been demonstrated in in numerous trials. I think the efficacy speaks for itself. Okay, so, you know, given the recent updates and guidelines and what we know from control stu uh, studies and how you determine what's the next line of therapy, what's the best way um, to, to go about deciding between a jackanib and a biologic option? We had that great debate. Where do you guys stand on this? Well, I, I kind of summarize it in my, my, uh, my little uh, encapsulation of the great debate. Uh, I'm, uh, as Ian made a great case for the efficacy, I, I don't see any evidence that they are not uh, 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 anything either than non-inferior or superior to um, biologic DMARDs. Um, so most of it is uh, our considerations are safety oriented and as uh, Ian also said, you know, it's based a lot on comfort and experience. You know, it's interesting. We've gone from basic science to the philosophy of taking care of patients, the art of medicine. Um, I mean, we really have covered it um, quite well. But, you know, as we wrap up, do either of you have any pearls you would like to uh, leave us with today? And now we have a whole range of modes of action, some biologic, small molecule. We have refined strategies that are making a spectacular difference. Treat early, treat aggressively, treat to target.